good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Meet Touchstone Essentials Live, the product training edition. Um, I'm Craig Daly, the Vice President of Global Sales for Touchstone Essentials, and I'm here with Cindy Clement. Cindy, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me, Craig. We, we appreciate you. For those that don't know, Cindy, um, let's move the slide one forward, Oops. and um, we want to brag about you just a little bit. Um, there we go. This is Cindy. Cindy's got a master's degree in nutrition. She is a, an adjunct professor. Uh, she's the person that teaches doctors about nutrition. In fact, Cindy, didn't you work um, in a doctor's office for years, right? And I still do. Actually, I work with a, um, a holistic medical doctor. I've been with him for almost 30 years. Wow. Yeah. So you're still with him. Yeah. Uh, but Cindy's absolutely fantastic. She knows her stuff. Uh, she's been in this industry for over 40 years. She's recently written a book, Chemical Burden. It's, it's your body's environmental chemical burden. And it's got all kinds of awards. In fact, if you go to her website, cindyclement.com, uh, you are going to be surprised at all the little badges, those little, those little awards that she's received for this book. Uh, it's absolutely impressive. Congratulations on that book, Cindy. Thank you very much. Well, tonight we're going to learn about four more of Touchstone Essentials products. And uh, we're going to learn about Wellspring, Essentials, Super Greens Plus D, and Green Energy. So take it away, Cindy. Okay, thank you. And, and hello again, everybody. It's, it's, it's so nice to be here with my, with my new family. I feel like your family already. So I'm really excited to present this material tonight. I want to start with the essentials product because I love the fact that it's a whole plant based vitamins. It has, you know, in plants, of course, they have vitamins and minerals and antioxidants. And when you see the word phytonutrient, just know that phyto is plants. We've got lots of plant nutrients. So um, as we look at the slides, it talks about nutrition. Hold on here. Um, Oh, oh, we talked about that. The, uh, uh, the uh, nutrition in these products is just unbelievable. With essentials, we have 26 of these organic superfoods, as they're called. And I'll tell you what, folks, that's a lot of nutrition. And when we talk about nutrition, we, I always go back to the RDA, the Recommended Daily Allowance. But the RDA um, has been fondly called really dumb amounts because this value, these reference values for nutrition were actually developed in 1943 during World War II. And what they did is they took these young 18 year old, 20 year old men and wanted to investigate how nutrition or lack thereof would affect our national defense. So they based this nutrition on these young 18 year olds in 1943. Well, folks, as you know, a lot has changed since then. Now we're exposed to 80,000 some chemicals, uh, you know, in our, in our environment. Our soils are completely depleted. They're using chemical fertilizers and chemical pesticides. And then of course we have all the dietary changes that people have uh, made, especially with fast food. Well, of course, you know, many years later, over 50 years later, they replaced the RDA with something called the DRI, which is the dietary reference intake. But folks, that still doesn't take into account the additional nutrients that we need when we're ill, when we have a disease, when we've been injured, or when we're under a great deal of stress. But when you've got 26 superfoods in something that you can take on a daily basis, I'm pretty confident we've got this, this covered. And I just want to let you know that in a future webinar, we're going to be looking at all 26 of these fruits and vegetables and look at the medicinal um, effects that these plants all have in all of the touchstone essential products. So this is another webinar that, that we can look forward to. But next, as we look on the list, 
I want to talk about free radicals. You may or may not be aware of this, but a free radical is a molecule in your body that has an uneven number of electrons. And so what they do is they bump into other molecules and try to take that electron away because they want to be balanced. Now, what happens then is there's this, this large chain reaction that occurs in the body. And as these molecules steal an electron from another molecule, it damages the cells and it can increase our predisposition to illnesses, diseases, and aging. So the antioxidants in the essentials product actually provide that missing electron. Now these molecules can stop fighting with one another and quit grabbing electrons from one another because now we're getting them in the blueberries, the blackberries, the raspberries, the grapes, and things like that. Um, so free radicals, we don't want those in our body and we have to get the, the uh, antioxidants to keep that from happening. Now, how can um, essentials help with glucose and insulin issues? Well, first of all, know that there are about 30 million, I would venture to say a lot more than that, 30 million diagnosed Americans or Americans that have been diagnosed with type two diabetes. Type two diabetes is, it was once known as adult onset diabetes, but they don't call it that anymore because now children's and teens and even young adults have this type of diabetes. And what it is, is it's a lifestyle disease. So let me just kind of explain what that is. Um, Type 2 diabetes is more of an insulin resistance or a metabolic syndrome type thing that happens in the body. So if you're you know, a healthy young adult and you have an ice cream cone and that glucose enters your, your that sugar, that glucose enters your bloodstream, what your pancreas does is it secretes a hormone called insulin. And insulin is the key that unlocks the cell so that the glucose can get in because our bodies do run on glucose. Now they don't run on ice cream cones clearly, but in this example, our body works on glucose. So what happens then is as we age or as inflammation get, you know, um, and we start to experience more inflammation in the body, poor dietary habits, um, having a little bit too much excess weight on the body, the cell membrane becomes stiffened. And now what happens is you eat that ice cream cone and your, your pancreas releases the hormone insulin. But now the insulin can't get into the cell. It's stiff. And that's what's called insulin resistant. The cell membrane won't allow the insulin to get in. So now all that glucose or sugar is in your bloodstream and it does, it gets stored as fat. So in this essentials product, we have cinnamon. Now cinnamon for thousands of years has been known for its medicinal properties, a number of different, different medicinal properties. But one of the most important in this conversation is it improves that sensitivity of the cell membrane to that insulin. And so therefore it has that anti-diabetic effect because now it's going to soften that cell membrane and get that insulin in where our muscles can use it. Cinnamon is also loaded with antioxidants. So now it's going to provide those extra electrons. So the molecules will stop fighting. Cinnamon also has anti-inflammatory properties. And interestingly, it can also fight bacterial and fungal infections in the body. Also in essentials is aloe. Now aloe also has the ability to lower that blood sugar. But of course, it, it provides heartburn relief. Uh, it's a natural laxative, which will help with detoxification. And it helps to keep your skin hydrated. So just like last week, when we learned about how the super organic protein works on more than just muscles or providing protein, now you can see how essentials can work on a number of health concerns in our body as well. But now let's look at how essentials can support our immune health. 
and that's through the mushrooms. Now, mushrooms also have a very long history of medicinal use. And folks, I, I, I was researching this and I found that the Egyptian hieroglyphics dated approximately 2600 BC. Can you imagine? They refer to mushrooms as the plant of immortality. Around 2000 BC, uh, mushrooms were, well, actually they weren't found in 2000 BC, but they were, mushrooms were found in the healing kit of one of the oldest human mummies dated about 2000 BC. And even the writings of Hippocrates as far back as 460 BC indicated the healing properties of these mushroom itself has this fruiting body as it's called and it produces spores if you've ever been in the forest hiking and you accidentally knocked into a mushroom and you've seen like this dust come out those are the spores and those spores germinate and they create this network of of roots it's called mycelium and and it's kind of like they're webbing underneath the ground and this mycelium eventually produces this little pinhead, which then grows into a whole new mushroom. And then that life cycle continues. But folks, it's not just the mushrooms that have these strong immune properties. The mycelium also has uh, quite a few beneficial effects on the body. And of course, it is included in the essentials product. They do put the mycel mycelium in with the mushrooms. So the benefits of mycelium are they, uh, it has the ability to increase our immune cells for protection in the body. It can activate white blood cells, again, increasing our immune strength, but it can also regulate immune cells for a balanced immune response. And this is important because if you've got an overactive immune system, such as an autoimmune disorder, you don't want something that's stimulating an immune system. So mycelium and mushrooms have the ability to balance that immune system. So I think that's pretty interesting. Now the beta glucans are sugars that are found in the cell walls of plants and most commonly they've been used for heart disease and high cholesterol but they are also showing anti-carcinogenic activity. And again carcinogenic is you know cancer producing so they have this anti-carcinogenic activity because they have this um, they show this protective effect against potent chemical agents that damage the genetic information inside of our cells. So, wow, I mean, talk about immune health in essentials in something that just has so many attributes, a product that can do so much. And then also, of course, um, effective for immune health is vitamin D. There was a, a comprehensive study on vitamin D around 2018, and they found that as much as 40% of the population in the United States had a measurable vitamin D deficiency. And, and folks, this is a problem because vitamin D plays a critical role in our cardiovascular function, in our mood, in fertility, as well as the immune function. And one more immune helper is acerola. Acerola is one of the richest natural sources of ascorbic acid, and it contains a, a plethora of phytonutrients and antioxidants. It also has several uh, biofunctional properties like anti-aging. Now, the fruit of the acerola contains more vitamin C about 50 to 100 times more vitamin C than that in an orange or a lemon. So talk about immune health, right? We've got it all. But on top of immune health, we also have digestive and gut health and detoxification with essentials. Just take something as easy as broccoli, for instance. There was a study published in the Journal of Cancer Prevention where scientists selected participants that lived in this 
particular area of China, China that had substantial air pollution. And first, before they did this experiment, of course, they assessed the amount of pollutant found in that participant's urine. And then they assigned the participants to consume a beverage made of broccoli. Afterwards, the scientists found that the people who drank the broccoli beverage were able to get rid of substantially higher levels of environmental pollutants than those who did not. So you can see that these products are so intricately put together, so much thought um, and, and just really well developed. I'm, I'm impressed every day that I work with these products. Uh, Jerusalem artichoke is also as part of this digestive gut health and detoxification. It's a prebiotic and it's shown as you, as I mentioned before, prebiotics increase friendly bacteria probiotics in the colon by providing a food for your gut uh, to make its own probiotics. And then also in the essentials, of course, are enzymes, but we're going to discuss that in just a moment when we get to another product. So now let's move on to, uh, uh, what am I doing now? Wellspring. Okay. Wellspring. Let's see if that gets to move. Okay, come on. There we go. Wellspring. All right, let's talk about omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are important for the normal functioning of all tissues in our body, but they're best obtained through a plant-based diet, not fish oil supplements. All omega-3 fatty acids are used in the formation of our cell wall to create a very protective cell wall. They also improve circulation in our body. They improve oxygen intake. Omega-3 fatty acids reduce inflammation in the body. They, they promote a healthy nerve functioning. They can slow memory loss. They can reduce skin aging and they can even lower blood sugar levels. Um, Omega-3 fatty acids can also help us with weight loss. And how they do that, believe it or not, is by reducing the activity of an enzyme activated, it's called protein kinase, AMPK. And folks, this is important because the more active that AMPK is, feelings of hunger increase in the body. So if we've got enough omega-3 fatty acids, we can reduce that hunger that we might be feeling. Now, while most plants are fairly low in fat, they do have the perfect amount to allow ALA, which is alpha lipoic acid, to convert to EPA and DHA. So alpha lipoic acid is an essential omega-3 fatty acid. As I mentioned before, essential means it must be provided through diet. You cannot, your body cannot make it. So we have to get these omega-3 fatty acids, especially a plant-based omega fatty acid. Now, these omegas are made inside the mitochondria of our cells, also known as the powerhouse of our cells. And in here is where it helps the enzymes turn nutrients into energy and works in every cell in our, our tissue in our body. Omega-3 fatty acids, or, or I should say alpha lipoic acid, also has antioxidant properties. Here's another electron. And it's both water soluble and fat soluble, which again, allows it to work in almost every single cell in our body. Now, fish oil has been used a lot as a source for omega-3 fatty acids. But with the work that I've done um, on the environmental contaminants, I can tell you right now, the fish does contain unsafe levels of contaminants. Um, one of the other reasons I'm not real fond of using omega-3 fatty acids from a fish oil is because of the impact um, that fishing has had on our environment. My husband and I recently watched a, a Netflix documentary called Seaspiracy, 
kind of like conspiracy, but C S E A conspiracy. And it again was showing the impact that fishing has on our environment. And as I watched that film, I began to realize how many fish would have to be destroyed in order to make that fish oil. So again, once, once again, back to that plant-based diet and, um, and just a much safer way for our planet as well. So antioxidants and the omega fatty acids both have that anti-inflammatory properties. And as we know, inflammation is the root of all disease in the body. So we wanna keep that down as far as possible. And when we're reducing inflammation, we're reducing cardiovascular disease. We're, we're reducing our um, you know, um, joint problems and things like that. So great, great product that we can use an awful lot of. And again, we will look at all of these ingredients, borage and turmeric and pumpkin when we get to that webinar on plants and their medicinal uses. So let's take a look at green energy. In green energy, we have organic green tea extract. And what organic green tea extract does is it has what's called thermogenic properties. In other words, it, it heats up the body just enough to start burning more of that fat tissue. It also provides a little bit of that energy. Now, bromelain in this product is for not only for digestive support, but also to kind of soothe our muscles. And then the protease helps us digest proteins. Now there's a blend in here. It's called serratio uh, peptidase, serratio peptidase, and that is a blend for digestive and joint support. It's a, a proteolytic enzyme, meaning that it, it breaks down proteins into smaller components the amino acids that we talked about last week. So this serratiopeptidase has been used for reducing inflammation. It helps to um, uh, reduce excessive water buildup in the body, excessive fluid buildup, I should say. It has analgesic properties to help with pain. It also has something called fibrinolytic properties, which means it prevents blood clots, but it also has uh, something called caseolin, uh, I'm sorry, caseo, caseinolytic, see why we don't use these big words, caseinolytic properties, which really just means that it brings all the cells back to homeostasis, much like CBD does. So again, these, these proteolytic enzymes, they're plant-based and they blast these undigested proteins so that your red blood cells are free to flow and have more energizing oxygen. So let's go back to that term, the, the fibro, uh, fibrinolytic that we mentioned just a moment ago. Let's click on the slide here. When we have this elevated fibrinogen level in our body, that increases our risk of blood clots and it can contribute to, of course, an increase in heart disease. When we have these higher fibrogenic, uh, fibrinogen levels in our body, it's associated with um, blood vessel dysfunction, stroke, heart disease, all kinds of things. But fibrinogen goes up in response to inflammation, tissue, in, uh, any kind of injury to our tissue in our body, and also in cancer. So what we're trying to do is keep that down. So in this product, we have prokinase, and this is an enzyme. And this enzyme is extracted from a really popular Japanese food called natto. And natto is nothing more than boiled soybeans that have been fermented with a certain type of bacteria. And natto kinase is what reduces that fibrinogen. I found a study from 2018 that was published in PubMed. And what they said is that the recent research demonstrated that natto kinase has potent fibrinolytic activity. So again, it breaks up that fibrinogen, that webbing in the blood. It also has antihypertensive uh, activity, reducing blood pressure, anti-atherosclerotic activity, 
which is that hardening and narrowing of the arteries. It's also lipid lowering and has neuroprotective effects. Now this is PubMed and the, the, um, at the end where they, they talk about the, the, what the whole study did, it said available evidence suggests that natokinase is a unique natural compound that possesses several key cardiovascular beneficial effects for patients with cardiovascular disease and is therefore an ideal nutraceutical for the prevention and treatment of cardiovascular disease. I mean, wow, right? This is all just in green energy because athletes have known forever that the, that the powerful source of energy comes from oxygenated blood. So when your blood cells are oxygenated, you don't feel fatigued. You don't have that post meal sluggishness and, and you perform at at your peak first thing in the morning and into the night and you can go all day long. So the number one job of those red blood cells is to transport oxygen through the body. But when you have those undigested fibrogenic proteins in your body that cause those red blood cells to clump and stick together, then you experience fatigue. But when they're freely flowing with oxygen, you feel more energized. So this product, Green Energy, is designed to help keep your red blood cells flowing freely and deliver plenty of oxygen to give your body that energy that you're looking for. And it can even help you, you know, power through that workout. Um, Green Energy has... Um, this natokinase blend, it has, uh, is it on the slide there? Yeah, 10,000 formula units. It has the organic green tea extract, again, for that thermogenesis to kind of help to break up that fat in the body, gives the energy. Bromelain for digestive support, soothing the muscles the protease to help digest those proteins, and then that ceratiopeptidase blend for that digestive support, joint support, and those proteolytic enzymes that have that combination of these plant-based enzymes to blast undigested proteins. So your red blood cells now are free to flow with that energy and vitality. So finally, Let's look at the Super Greens Plus D. In this product, we have 5 billion colony forming units of a blend of probiotics and prebiotics. The first one is Bacillus coagulans, and that is a prebiotic fiber. Remember, prebiotics says, here's some food body, make your own probiotics or, or food for the probiotics that you're taking. Inulin is another prebiotic fiber and it has been shown to reduce gut permeability where you've got this leaky gut. It's been shown to reduce inflammation in the gut, reestablish that tight junction, which we'll talk about in another webinar, and also has the ability to reduce toxins in the gut. Now, the three different types of probiotics are uh, uh, Lactobacillus gasseri, and this is a, a probiotic that is found naturally in our genital areas, our urinary tract, and our digestive systems in our bodies. The Bifidophilus, Bifidophilus bifidum is the most common uh, probiotic that is found in the intestines many people are lacking. So it's good to build that back up. And then Bifidophilus longum is another uh, probiotic that is found in the gastrointestinal tract. So all really good things to have. Um, why is there such a focus on the gut? I, I just want to mention that in our gut, we have 80% of our immune system resides in our gut, 80%. And the area in which that immune system is, is it's called gut associated lymphoid tissue, G-A-L-T is the acronym. So we've got to keep that gut healthy for a healthier immune system. But we also have an enteric nervous system. That means enteric is gut. So we have a gut nervous system. Um, in that gut nervous system, in that enteric nervous system, we have 100 million nerve cells that line our gut. And then we have that vagus nerve that connects 
our enteric nervous system to our brain. So there, there's always this bi-directional communication. So the big focus on gut health is not only just for um, digestive purposes, but for our immune system, for our brain, for, uh, for our entire body. So uh, for those of you who like to watch lectures on YouTube, you can just look up Cindy Clement YouTube and you'll find one of my lectures on the gut microbiome. It's about 40 minutes long, but it's, um, a, a, my presentation is from the prenatal development through the aging process to give you an idea of how the gut changes through all of those periods of our life. Now, lastly, in this product, of course, we have the enzymes. We have amylase, which helps to digest the starches that we're eating. Protease, which helps to digest the proteins. Cellulase helps to di digest the cellulose fiber that is found in fruits and vegetables. Lactase, which helps you to digest milk products. And lipase, which is the digestion of fats. So when you think of, of super greens plus D, think immune health, the microbiome, strong bones, vitamin D, pH balancing, and most of these products all support those processes in the body. So folks, I want to thank you once again, our half hours go by so fast, but thank you once again for attending this evening. And I ask you to please join us on July 15th as we continue our product education. And at that time, um, on July 15th, we'll be discussing CBD. So see you then. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Cindy. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for sharing your expertise with us. What a wonderful uh, wealth of knowledge you are. And uh, we've learned so much about these products and excited to learn more about CBD in July. So we're taking a few weeks uh, off. Um, but come back with us. Make sure that you go to uh, to our website um, and and you can watch and see on the site uh, where Cindy is. Uh, Cindy's picture is. You can you can go to collaborate and then drop down to Touchstone Essentials Live. And if you click on that, um, you'll see Cindy's picture. And there will be a date on there for for each of these presentations. So. Uh, thank you again, Cindy. We appreciate you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us. We'll see you sometime really, really soon. Take care. Good night. Good night.